welcome to beautiful Los Angeles, California. This is basically what you see when you watch it in the movies. But as soon as you go on the freeway ramp, I love those freeway signs. This is America to me. Or if you get off the freeway ramp, it looks already totally different. Welcome to the original Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles, better known as Central City East. There are approximately 6,000 homeless people on Skid Row currently, and it spreads over 54 blocks. Believe me, you don't really want to walk around here. They do have shelters down here which provide food for everybody here. They really try to help those people. If you look towards your left, that's like a little area, it's called like the mission, where people can get free food and they can hang out right there and they get some help. And then when you go around the corner here, See this building on the left? You see where the gates are, like the rolling up gates? This is where Michael Jackson was dancing and beat it. That's where they filmed that music video, remember? And then a little bit towards the right, that's the original Hard Rock Cafe. That's where Jim Morrison and the whole doors took like a picture photo shoot right here. See this building? And back then it was already Skid Row. And then when you look towards your right, you see this original building they used for the movie Ghostbusters. Only the interior shots though. Skid Row has the largest concentration of homeless people in the entire United States. Hollywood is only a few miles from downtown. The glitz and the glamour. They filmed hundreds and hundreds of movies down here in Los Angeles downtown. But you really never get to see what's going on in the side street here. Every time they do a movie, everything is being cleaned up. So you're basically not gonna get to see all this. This is the real downtown you see right there, the US bank building. Down the street here, they have the toy district and the fashion district. I've been here many, many times. And as soon as I pass through, I see what's going on here. But two miles, Further down, I already forget what I saw. And this is most of the people in Los Angeles don't even get to see all this here. And if they do, right away, you forget about it. You don't want to see all this, but this is how it is right here in Los Angeles. People just laying on the street like this man right here. From the distance, when you see Los Angeles city line, it looks like paradise, but there's a huge gap between the rich and the poor. And just a few miles away from here, Beverly Hills, life is totally different. And as we know, Los Angeles is one of the most progressive cities in the world. Free food, giveaways. They call LA the city of angels. Skid Row was already around in the 1930s, but it really was established by the city in 1976, where shelters and services for homeless would be tolerated. And ever since, the crime and the homeless population started rising until today. And Governor Newsom said that he spent a hundred million dollars helping the homeless. You see those tents miles and miles on the street. She's just standing in the middle of the street. When you walk around here, it really feels like you're on a different planet. Hygiene is a really big problem here in Skid Row. 
they don't have to only worry about COVID. They also have to worry about tuberculosis outbreaks, hepatitis or typhus. Some of those places are rats infested. And look at the people. They just sit down on the street right here. Some of them just put a mattress down and sleep in the middle of the way. This is absolutely heartbreaking when you see something like this. Even if I wanna told you about all this, you would not believe it. You have to actually see it to believe what's going on. While I was filming this, I saw lots of people in their cars driving by and offer the homeless people food and drinks. So there are people, they care about the homeless in Los Angeles, but it's, how can you actually stop all this? Where do you start? How do you start changing everything? And you probably asking yourself, German in Venice, why are you filming all this sad stuff? I mean, I just document all this and hopefully something good can come out of this. Maybe somebody sees it and gets inspired. Maybe somebody helps a homeless person because of this video. I really don't know. I had family members writing me from the last couple of videos I did about interviewing the homeless people. They saw their relative, their cousin on my video and they contacted me and thanked me so much. They didn't know where he was. So something good came out of this. And I'm also hoping something good will come out of this. All those tents here on the sidewalk, they look worse than a refugee camp. See, right here on the corner, people give out food and drinks. There's a lot of people eating out of the trash cans. The big business close to Skid Row protect their property with barbed wire. Who knows what happened here if somebody got hurt or not. A burnt RV right on the sidewalk. They used to say when you see shoes hanging over the electrical wire, that is the place where they sell drugs. But I don't think that's true anymore. You can buy drugs anywhere down the street here. And look at all the tents on the sidewalk. How are you supposed to walk on this sidewalk here? There's no way. This guy was pretty inventive. He just uh, connected a hose to the fire hydrant. Of course, a huge percentage of the people here on Skid Row use drugs, but there's a lot of mentally disturbed people. When I'm driving my car here, some people are in the middle of the street that hit my hood. I mean, it's kind of dangerous. And when they saw me filming, I have people throwing stuff at me. It is really not a safe area, especially when you film. Despite all the bad stuff you see, when you see this downtown skyline, it makes me feel really good. I love downtown Los Angeles. I know people that live in Los Angeles for 30 years or even longer. They never been down to Skid Row. I mean, we all have problems, but when you drive by Skid Row and see all those tents and all the homeless people, you really feel good about your situation. And you just think, hopefully this will never happen to me. How can you get out of this situation? It's already hard for yourself getting up in the morning. You have things to do. Those people really have nothing to do. They don't even have a place where they can shower. They don't really have a place where they can go to the restroom. Lots of people use buckets and then at the end of the night, they throw it on the street. I mean, you see all this, but you cannot smell how bad it smells everywhere here. When you get out of the car, even in the car, you can smell it. What I couldn't really understand is most of the homeless people that walk around in downtown, they don't even wear a mask. And then you think, all those people are so close to each other. 
COVID would spread like crazy and people would die like flies, but this is not the case. I don't really know. I don't have any information if there's a lot of homeless people in hospitals or not. But I'm just wondering, like I said, barely any of the homeless people wearing masks. You see this green structure here on the side? They call them green machines. Those are toilets. They have nine of them in downtown Los Angeles. And in the beginning, the criminal element in Los Angeles took over and they were charging $1 to $5 for the homeless people to use the restroom. But now I saw they put a whole bunch of potter potties on the side. You can see them right here in the back. And they also put like little hand sanitizer stations with water on a few of the corners. They used to power wash all the sidewalks, but ever since COVID, they're not doing it regularly like they used to, so it's getting worse and worse. The trash is just overflowing everywhere. It's not even safe to park your car here. Sometimes metal rods or something else is sticking out and you're scratching your car. Even when you try to go to the meter, people come out and just ask you for money. I mean, last night it got really cold already. You see it, but those people really have to live here. This is their house. This is where they live. Believe me, I'm not the first one doing a video about Skid Row. There's hundreds of videos on YouTube. Well, in the beginning, the problem was really easy to ignore, but now more and more people moving here to downtown Los Angeles, and it got so big that you can't look away anymore. All his possessions are cramped up in a shopping cart. They gave out a lot of vouchers to the homeless to stay in hotels because of the COVID situation. There's a lot of empty hotels, but there's still too many homeless people on the street here. How do you help the mentally ill people? This girl is just sitting down in the middle of a street and tying her shoe. People just laying on the sidewalk, sleeping, hanging out. A couple years ago, they had a big thing on the news that hospitals dropped their patients right here on Skid Row. They were still wearing their hospital gown. They just dropped them off because they didn't know where else to put them. I see social workers down here trying to help the homeless, but it's not going to be easy to fix this problem. It's going to take years. And now Christmas is around the corner and I don't think those people really care about anything. They just want to try to survive right here. It's like a jungle out here. You have to survive. There's shootings down here. There's crime every day, fights. Sometimes people just laying on the concrete. You don't know if they're dead or not. I mean, probably sleeping, but nobody really cares. I think we hadn't had any rain since six or seven months. Just imagine it starts raining hard, really hard. You know, how's the ground in your tent going to be dry? It's going to be another big, big problem for those people. Wow, look at this, Mahatma Gandhi.
Those encampments are just one block from City Hall. See the building in the background? This is the City Hall of Los Angeles, downtown. Looks like the news is doing a story here. There's a lot of police present on Skid Row. I had to record this. I told you before, I love fire hydrants. I really like this area here. I've been here many times doing the photo shoot. This is the 7th Street Bridge and people live underneath the bridge here too. There's a fallen angel right here. This is the worst poverty in the first world country. Here you can take some really good pictures of downtown. It looks nice with the sunset in the background. Trains are still coming by on those tracks. Well, Los Angeles is called the city of angels. Maybe they're not angels anymore. Maybe they're like fallen angels now. Anyway, I do not recommend you guys to go down to Skid Row. There's nothing really to see. Especially if you film, you can get a lot of trouble. So leave that to German and Venice, okay? Anyway, just want to let you know, thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Of course, subscribe. We love LA, always and forever. I see you guys later. Tschüssi.